What's it like flying United on a 50-minute international flight? How does their service stack up when compared to Porter or Air Canada on the same route? Stay tuned to find out. So, if you haven't seen my Porter trip report, make sure to check it out here. Anyway, it's the end of Thanksgiving weekend and my family is headed back home to the States, specifically to Newark with United. So we find ourselves here at the main airport terminal in Ottawa, McDonald Cartier International Airport, which is currently only accessible by car, Uber, or bus. However, there is currently an OC Transpo train station being built at the airport, which will be served by Line 4. Check-in even for international flights is a breeze at Ottawa Airport because of these self-checking kiosks. Security, however, is another story. Since there is a U.S. Customs preclearance facility at Ottawa, all passengers on U.S.-bound flights, which on this evening was the majority of the traffic going through Ottawa Airport, had to clear customs. This means that flights arriving from Ottawa to U.S. airports arrive as domestic flights, meaning that you save time at your arrival airport by not having to go through customs. Ottawa Airport is surprisingly modern and clean, with plenty of places to sit, shop, and eat. However, there is an abhorrent lack of power outlets, but Ottawa Airport is not the only airport in Canada that has this problem. So, if you're traveling through Ottawa Airport, make sure to bring a power bank. Our flight to Newark this evening was around two hours late coming in from Chicago due to a snowstorm that was rolling in at the time. Sitting at gate 4 is November 762 Yankee X-Ray, an Embraer E-175 operated by Republic Airways, which was just three months old at the time when I flew on the aircraft. However, this aircraft at this point is now over a year old. United generally likes to keep things consistent across their fleet, with the standard amenities of a literature and seat back pocket and tray table. United's new E-175s feature 12 business class seats in a 1-2 configuration and 64 economy class seats in a 2-2 config. Legroom on United's new E-175s is pretty good despite the dense configuration. United offers shared in-seat power outlets for all economy class passengers, as well as free Wi-Fi on flights longer than one hour in length. This is a pretty good feature for just an hour-long flight. Like Porter, United offers snacks on this one-hour hop down to Newark. However, due to bad turbulence from a winter storm that was wreaking havoc across the northeastern United States, there was no drink service. Despite this, the wonderful United flight attendants still took individual drink orders, so I decided to order myself a tomato juice. When compared to Porter, I would say United wins out in all categories. United's E-175 is quieter than Porter's Dash 8's. The E-175 has more comfortable seats and offers power outlets, whereas Porter does not. United is typically cheaper on the Newark to Ottawa route both ways as well. So, if you're going to fly between the US and Canada, you should probably do so on United.